is up guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing the long long awaited video of supplies that you need in tech school and I don't even mean tech school I literally mean like obviously vet tech school regular nursing school these are like a plethora of items that I think would be great for like any kind of healthcare field I don't know of course these are just all my personal opinions of things that I have realized that I really liked and have really helped me throughout school but I've had a lot of requests asking for certain supplies I recommend so it's happening finally so the first thing I recommend getting is this little carry-on bag zip thingy majig I literally got off of Amazon for like six bucks and I really like to keep all my supplies in here I know that I've showed this before in previous videos I don't know if I actually ever went through it though obviously I keep everything in here I keep at least a pen a pencil bandage scissors a watch and my stethoscope I throw it in my bag knowing that all my supplies are here that I need for school I just have to remember to put it back in when we're done with whatever we're doing anyways yes recommend okay second thing watches so I have to say 99% of my classmates have like that apple smartwatch or like a another smartwatch but the reason why I didn't get one was because my professors actually said that we could not use them I think they're a little bit more lenient now but they told us um day one that they wanted us to have like you know regular watches so I found this one on Amazon it was like 15 bucks I really like it because it's sturdy it's waterproof which is obviously something that you're really going to be needing I don't know if you can see it but it tells time two different ways obviously with the hands right here and then with this right here like the digital clock it also has what day of the week I think you could put the date on it I actually don't know but honestly it is really a great watch but honestly it's great to take TPRs on obviously you can watch the digital clock or the big hand depending on what you prefer and if you need a starter up watch this one is honestly really great next is a thermometer I honestly I just got this one because it was on Amazon and it was cheap of course I needed one around the time that COVID happened so finding like fast reading ones and like super great waterproof ones was really really hard at the time because people were buying them like crazy so I just went with this one it's like a knockoff brand I think but it's actually like a really great thermometer Thermometer. It reads relatively fast unlike most thermometers that I have used in my lifetime I think I got it for like eight or nine bucks. It's super simple super easy But of course if you can get your hands on like the fast read ones I really recommend those because those are what the people in the field told me to get but if you really want like a cheap knockoff Reliable thermometer. This one's really great. And like I said, I got it off Amazon. So um, yeah All right up next is stethoscopes This is arguably probably the most important tool that you'll need when you go into tech school Probably not like starting off on the bat But when you really start to get into the nursing part of it You're really gonna need a stethoscope especially when you're learning to take TPR So as you may or may not know I originally got this one. It's just a Littman classic 3. It's black. It's sturdy Like I mean it worked well for me. It's double bell and honestly just like a really reliable stethoscope However, somehow my diaphragm bell which is the big bell right here I think like I wouldn't say broke because it's still intact but like it's like compressed and I think like it came loose or something so I cannot hear anything out of this one this one still works but this one does not and I got really really worried so I needed a backup stethoscope like ASAP so then I got this one this one is the MDF Acoustica you may or may not have heard of this brand but um let me put you on it I have only heard of this brand a couple of times like literally nobody I worked with no one I went to school with had this brand so I had no clue how reliable it actually was and of course if you work in the field you know that Littman is normally like the go-to when it comes to stethoscope so I was a little apprehensive about getting this but then I saw the price and it was 30 bucks and I was like okay I'll give it a shot I hate to say it I think I actually prefer this one over my Littman but I've had a lot better luck hearing certain sounds with this one it's just single bell but honestly I recommend this one and I'll tell you why for starters this one is actually longer than the Littman classic 3 which is really really great especially for vet med which doesn't seem like a lot but let me tell you there was a really aggressive dog over summer that I had to get two PRs on I wanted to get as far away from that dog as humanly possible and this honestly came in clutch I was able to hear the heartbeat really well I was able to actually hear respiratory sounds for like the first time ever so if I'm being completely honest I really recommend the MDF Acoustica. Now don't get me wrong, you cannot go wrong with a Littman Classic 3, but if you're on a budget looking for something cheap, don't know if you want to spend the money on a Littman quite yet, then I really recommend you get an MDF. The next supply is bandage scissors. This is something that you absolutely should have on you like at any point in time. I've only used this a couple times, however, they work like a dream. They're not a certain brand or anything, they're just bandage scissors, and I honestly mainly got them because of the color, but I noticed a lot of my classmates don't actually have them, so when we're like in the rush and like trying to cut out a catheter, it's just nice to be able to have this in my pocket and use it. So yes, highly recommend these. I got them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. As you can see, this is kind of a pattern about how cheap things are. I apologize, I have like a roof and the sun is starting to seep into it, so just ignore that. Now, more recently, I've been actually getting a lot of questions about what laptop I use because I 
use it in videos all the time, obviously. And so I'm just gonna put you guys on it right now. This is my currently pretty dirty laptop. So most of my classmates have like MacBooks, iPads, all that fun stuff. Honestly, this is really all I need. It's a good size, it's durable, and what I really like about it is you can use it as a regular laptop or you can bend it into a tablet. And honestly, I've had this laptop for like three years. All I know is that it is an Asus two-in-one I think. I'm sure there's like a newer model or something similar to it so I highly recommend. It wasn't too pricey either compared to like other laptops so I really recommend you get an Asus just like this. So this one might be like more of an idea rather than a supply but I think it's honestly a great idea. If you talk to almost anyone in the medical field especially like vet med I notice everyone refers to a nerd book meaning that they have like a binder of like multiple different subjects anything that they wrote down in school really anything that they just need to like look it up they just like flip through the book and they find and they're like, all right, cool, and then close it kind of a thing. Like anything to refer to for the next couple of years. My professor has it, my other professor has it, a couple of my classmates have it. So it's definitely something that I wanna start. I'm starting a little bit late on it, obviously, but I really didn't know. So that's why I'm telling you guys to make your own nerd book. So this is currently mine. There's barely anything in it, obviously. This is more for like my labs for like anesthesia. I plan on putting my drug cheat sheets in there. Any notes that I could find like really like useful I'm gonna put in here. So that's what I recommend you guys doing. Any notes you're taking and at some Thing that you could be carrying around for a long time. In fact, my professor has been carrying his around for the last 25 years, and it's like this old ratted thing, but he swears by it, so I'm letting you guys know. Last but not least, it is something that I have already talked about, but I feel like it's really, really important, especially if you're going into like the nursing aspect. You need to carry a little notebook like this. It has literally been such a life changer because there's certain things that like my professor asks me, I don't know the answer to. He'll give me the answer and like talk me through it. I write it down in here and then I remember for like future tests or future quizzes or just a reference in my own head. Like I literally have written in here that sevoflurane is recommended for the use of birds. Will I ever need that? Maybe, I don't know, but it's also something that might be on the vt and &E and might be really, really helpful in the future. All right guys, so that is all the supplies I recommend for going into tech school, nursing school, any healthcare field whatsoever. I bought all of these a while ago, but if I can find any of them, I'll go ahead and link them down in the description so you can go check them out. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many cool, exciting things coming up. I don't know if they're gonna happen quite yet, but if they are, I will let you know. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.